Ale, what to say? A leader, um, a visionary, a futurist, a man. I actually, I remember the first time when I met him, uh, Ale was thrilled that I could pronounce his name correctly. And actually, you know, even if I didn't get the accent right, it was a name that I really could never forget. And I think many of us feel that way. Um, those of us who've met Alet in all those years when he was an activist um, and a real luminary, a real visionary within our community. Uh, he came to Silicon Valley for RightsCon, the first RightsCon. I remember Gillian York introduced him to me. Uh, and he turned up with such power and such quiet determination. It was 2011 and he knew that when he got back on that flight um, from the US to, to Egypt that he would be returning to a military tribunal. And the bravery of the man, how could I not return? He said, how could I not? Uh, he was very wary of the tech companies, of the tech sector, and he challenged them to do better. But he knew that the business model was the problem before I think any of us did. Um, his vision was the empowerment of civil society, and here we are uh, on the rise, standing firm, advocating for our digital rights, um, ad advocating for his release, as we've done every year and will continue to do so until, until, until you are free, Ale. Happy birthday. Uh, welcome to everybody who's engaged in this event. Thank you so much um, for allowing us to be um, part of it. And thanks to everybody who has put so much energy, his friends, his family and his community into ensuring that the legacy of Ala Abdel Fattah continues and that his freedom is secured. Thank you very much.